This is Panasonic's new compact switcher, the AV-HSW10, and it caught our eye for several reasons, but mainly because of its size. It packs a lot of functionality into a very small footprint, and yet still feels like it belongs with the rest of Panasonic's high-end PTZ range. At ProAV, we sell loads of video switches, Blackmagic Atom Minis with four or eight HDMI inputs, Atom SDIs with, yes, you guessed it, SDI inputs, we sell TriCasters with their brilliant IP connectivity and Roland mixers with great audio features. We have 40 input rack mount switches and tiny touchscreen 2 input ones. And then there are the software based switches like vMix, Wirecast and OBS. So with all this choice, why would you want a Panasonic AV-HSW10? For me, it comes down to the inputs. It has a mixture of SDI and HDMI with scalers to cope with computer resolutions as well as traditional video standards. But where it really stands out is the addition of IP inputs and outputs on something so portable. The AVHSW10 can input and output full NDI, NDIHX and even SRT. Now if these three letter acronyms are leaving you cold, then you might as well stop watching now. This switcher probably isn't for you. It's this capability of blending ultra-low latency physical inputs with IP video that makes it so interesting. Software vision mixers like OBS, vMix and Wirecast add delay to the outputs which cause a problem if you're showing the mix live on a big screen. The HSW10 will only add about a frame to those physical inputs, even less if you're synced to a reference. IP inputs from NDI will have a very low latency too, but there will be more delay on NDIHX and SRT. That SRT feed could be sent from Panasonic PTZ on the other side of the planet, which opens up some great workflows for remote guests. The HSW10 has another trick up its sleeve. It can automatically color match cameras, which is a feature I've personally never seen before on a mixer. You select the master camera with the color look that you want, and match the other inputs to it. This is fantastic, especially when you have cameras on a shoot from different manufacturers. You will need a Macbeth or color checker chart to do this, and it is a bit fiddly, but the results are worth the effort. Another interesting feature is a software control panel, which looks like it will let you remote control the switcher over a network. This isn't available yet, but when it is, it could be really useful, as unlike Blackmagic software interface, it has a multi-view preview, which means you can see all your sources, which is vital when you're switching remotely over a network. I'm really looking forward to seeing this software control because the physical controls on this are quite limited. Some things like putting in a YouTube link or keys are pretty laborious when you only have a control dial and enter button. You really need some patience. So, that software control is a really important part of this product and hopefully it will be available soon. The main areas that set the switcher apart from the others we sell is flexibility. It's rare to get a compact switcher which offers HDMI, SDI, NDI and SRT inputs and outputs as well as an webcam output. Add to that the traditional Panasonic design with program and preview bus, T-bar, AUX control and all those network capabilities. So, it turns out there are actually quite a lot of reasons why the Panasonic AV-HSW10 might be the right switcher for your workflow. To buy one or find out more, head over to proav.co.uk. Thanks for watching and I'll see you on the next one.